if this is still K-pop, then I'm a fan of K-pop, you know? What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Today is gonna be an interesting day because we're back with K-pop. Yes, we're back with K-pop. So let's give it another try. Today's band is actually a girl group band called Dreamcatcher. They consist of seven members and debuted their first record in 2017. So let's dive right in. I didn't look up much because I really wanna be surprised by them. So let's do this. Please hit me up on Patreon, hit me up on Instagram. You can join our Discord group. All the links are in the description below. I will join the platform Weezio. You can also see that link in the description below. It's a really cool concept. It's gonna be a concept where you guys can send me your questions, your video questions, your music questions, everything in general, and I will reply to you guys personally via a video message. This might be something like a second level where we can actually discuss certain songs, certain styles, certain whatever it is, person to person. And this might be something for you guys who are actually musicians or in a band, and you would just like to hear my opinion that might be the best platform for you guys. So I'm gonna be available there as soon as possible. All right, let's dive right in. Okay, here we go. Dreamcatcher. Song is called Scream. It's the official music video. Let's do this. Well, at least I hear good instruments in the background. That's a plus. You know, it's actually crazy how many K-pop bands or boy bands, girl bands are there around right now. I mean, you never really come across those bands. You know, especially not if you're circling around in the metal and rock genre uh, where I am normally and the majority of my people, subscribers are normally. Really cool to see something like that. Um, of course, I'm thinking about Blackpink. Of course, I'm thinking about BTS right now. So let's continue. Let's see what this is about. I mean, their videos are always amazing. Well, I liked it a lot more than the other ones. It's a bit harder too. Yeah, I like the beat, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, the beat is actually catchy and really groovy, and also it's just a bit heavier than the rest of the K-pop songs that I reacted to as of right now, you know? Dreamcatcher, huh? So far, so good. You know, one thing I realized is uh, the majority of K-pop boy bands and girl bands always have a lot of members, right? I mean, like the stereotype from back in the day where you had four or five people is gone, I think. I like that part. Nice transition. You 
You know I have to pause it because I think about something and uh, I don't want to make anyone mad, but if I compare those three artists, BTS, Blackpink, and Dreamcatcher now, I feel like Dreamcatcher is the version for adults, you know what I mean? Like for older people. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with the other two. It's just like, it feels more mature, this kind of music. And I could see that song in particular. I mean, right now, the uh, bridge especially, you could play that song with instruments and that would sound really cool. Even the little breakdown included, hey! I like that, man. Man, it's crazy to be continued. Yeah, I definitely will check out the rest of their songs. All right, guys, that was it. Dreamcatcher with Scream, the official music video. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really, really like that. Again, because I think that's the way or that's the style that people 30 plus, 40 plus might enjoy more than the other two K-pop artists I just mentioned before. And again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that this style really connects with me more than the other two bands. Yeah, man, a good song. Um, you know, here and there, I thought the whole time about Holland. <laughs> now you're gonna ask yourself, why did you think about Holland or the Netherlands? Um, you know why? Because they implemented those electronic hard beats that really reminded me of Dutch electronic music. So uh, that's why I was thinking the whole time about it. Really cool combination of electronics, instruments in the beginning, good vocal melodies, good lyrics, I think. <laughs> and last but not least, a very cool and studied choreography. That was amazing. If this is still K-pop, then I'm a fan of K-pop, you know? In my opinion, this band targets a completely different group of people than the other two artists I mentioned earlier. All right, guys, that was amazing. Please let me know about Dreamcatcher. I mean, they're brand new. The first record came out three years ago, so I don't think there's much to talk about. But still, uh, a cool, interesting band. And I mean, come on, 18 million views again. They established a song this year in February. You know, whatever they do, all of them, all of these artists, they polarize. They know how to market themselves. They know what to do, what is necessary to do to have success. So, I mean, we need to give it to them. That's amazing. All right, guys, enjoy your day. Stay safe. And by the way, yes, I don't know if I'm going to release this song earlier, but I think I'm going to release this song as the first song. So if you are still watching this video and you haven't turned it off by now, you will be informed by me right now for all of you for all of you Nightwish fans, that I will definitely do Nightwish right now. The next song on their new record, so stay tuned, should be out in a few hours. See you later, bye bye.